What's up everybody? This is Big Big Cadillac. Please press like and re before I get started, please press like and subscribe to the channel. Coming at you all the way. Big Cadillac Talk Show. So uh I normally don't do this. Um I'm normally uh filming trail riding and race cars and things like that. But I do got some issues that I wanna address. Uh, some things that I've been saying on YouTube, things that I've been seeing on YouTube and Facebook and everything like this. And it's about my boy, Mr. Primetime, Dion Sanders. First of all, I'm just going to jump right into it. Oregon beat Colorado. Hey, good game. No problem. No no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, I did want to see uh, Colorado win, but with the from what I've been hearing about Oregon and how good they are, you know, it, it was going to be tough. I didn't think they were going to blow them out like they did, but they blow it out. And big shots out to Oregon. But this right here that I want to talk about is really not about football. Number one, uh, I'm going to get this off my chest, people. I am... I don't know nothing about football. I don't. I watch it every now and then with some buddies of mine. My wife is a big football friend. She she loves the New Orleans Saints. And uh, I don't know nothing about yardage, carries, and stuff like that. But what I do know about, I'm going to tell you what I do know about. Uh, all the, the, all of us not hating you entitled to feel the way that you feel. But what I, uh, and, and before I go there, I would never be nowhere near famous like primetime Deion Sanders. I'm just a little uh, DJ down here in Mississippi. I do a lot of trail riding and I do some race car. Uh, I'm into race car, drag racing. Uh, so I'll never be nowhere near primetime status, famous status. But what I do agree with, I do identify with his level of enter, entertainment. I know about entertainment. And, and let me say this. I've I seen where people been coming at this guy, throwing shots at this guy. And I've seen what the, the coach from Oregon said about the, hey, they're flashy, uh, with that flash. And, and even when he said, I hope everybody that was, that was watching then or watching now. That that right there, and for everybody that feel that, that was sent at prime time Dion Sanders. And the cameras, and the cameras that are just surrounding this guy. This guy's all over sports. Okay? And the one thing I do want to say for the people that are commenting on Facebook and Twitter and everything, this is not a black or white thing. It's not. This is not a, you entitled to feel the way you want to feel, but it's not. Let me tell you something. This is what I identify, and I have went through with. I have went through this. Anytime you're doing something that stands out, anytime people are drawn to you on an entertainment level, entertainment. Some some things about entertainment is dirty. You will lose friends behind this. You will have people that's jealous of you for no reason. No reason. Anytime your name stands out above whatever is going on, you, you take Deion Sanders. He was at Jackson State. He did the same thing at Jackson State. It's just, yeah, true enough, you got more cameras at Colorado, but this man was doing the same thing he did doing now at Jackson State. And Nobody seemed to have a problem with it until he started, you know, said he was leaving. But anytime you stand out of the box, anytime you're anytime other people are drawn to you and look at you as aspiring, some people have a problem with it. They do. You can lose friends behind that. You can people that you 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 like you saying, you know, what did I do? And like Dion said. We don't talk about anybody. Dion don't talk about coaches. 
and the other team that he's playing, he's telling you what he's going to do or what he's going to try to do. Yeah, he didn't do it with Arthur. He didn't. But if you listen to that coach, when he said the flash, how can you talk about flash when you got <laughs> your players got shoes that change colors? And when he when he mentioned about the, all those people, that was through at the people that was throwing shots at Deion Sanders. I mean, excuse me, that was thrown at the people that is just drawn to Deion, the cameras. That coach, he has a problem with it. He's basically telling you. I don't, I don't know the coach, and and, and let's let's be honest. If Colorado and Dion wasn't playing Oregon, how many people would care? How many people would watch the game? How many people would have been watching Oregon? Yeah, some would. It wouldn't have been uh, publicized like it was. All those cameras, cameras wouldn't have been there like it was. And that coach has a problem with that. That's his problem. And he has that problem within itself. And did, I like what Dion said. They want to beat me. They forgot that, I, you know, I didn't play the game. I'm a Hall of Famer. I got two or how many how many uh, Super Bowl rings he got. I, I, I don't know. I know I know he got two of them. I don't know if he went and had more. They want to beat Dion Because of all the hype and the, the cameras and everything, they, they're, joined, they're drawn to... I ain't gonna say he really disliked Dion. He just don't like the hype. It's not because he's black. People, please. It's not because he's black. He's had a problem with two what was it another coach, two other coaches? Those they are upset about the hype. And they're making big they're making it bigger than football. Dion is not making this bigger than I mean, Dion is Dion. You know, I seen where they say he got the gold chains and the cowboy. Hat. I wear cowboy hats, and I wear cowboy shades. I put a thing on Facebook uh, last week, my pitching Dion, and say, Dion, you're gonna have to get you another style because that's my style. I do it when I'm mutt riding. So, and then I see this guy. Uh, Jason Whitlock, I want to address some things he said. Uh, I don't, I don't really have a problem with him. I really don't. Uh, I seen on one of his podcasts where he said he was attacking Dion for talking about how he's this big Christian and everything, but yet at his games he has Lil Wayne, Master P, Offset, Cameron. And whoever else was there, the, uh, the Rock, and said, how can he be a Christian when he got gangster rappers on the sideline? Dude, and anybody, you you know, you, you, you have the right to feel the way you want to feel. That don't make you a bad Christian. That don't make you not a Christian. Only thing that makes it, Bad is if whatever they're saying in their songs, you go and react to what they are saying. You go and do what they're saying. God says, how can another man say he loves God who he cannot see? But don't love his brother who he can see. So the fact that you got rappers on 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 the uh, sideline, that don't make you a bad Christian. That don't mean you sin. If you go into Walmart, they're playing rap music. If you go into Walmart and buy something, do that make you sin because you went in there while they were playing rap music? Come on. Jason Whitlock, do, and I'm going to be honest, Jason Whitlock do not have a problem with Deion Sanders. He don't. Y'all, y'all don't get it. He don't hate this guy. He want them views. 
He's picking in, in important topics to get views and content. That's all he's doing. That man do not hate, hate primetime Deion Sanders. Guarantee you he don't. He don't have a problem with primetime. Guarantee. And, and, and going off of that, you know, Dion is not in this for himself. I seen where uh, uh, another guy said he's only doing all this to get his son into the NFL. Well, number one, if he is, what's wrong with that? Don't you love your, your kids? Don't you want don't you want to succeed, see them succeed? Uh, make money where they'll never have to struggle? What's wrong with that? You know, but people have some people have a problem when it can and it can, it can be your own friend. Listen, I done lost friends behind this. Not talking about Dion level because I would never be on Dion Sanders level, but the entertainment part of it, I've been there. Not at his level, but on the entertainment part of it, I've been. People will come at you, buddy. Just because people are, are hollering your name out. Liking what you do. Drawing to you. You're going to have these people that don't like it. And they're only doing it because in their mind, why didn't I think of this? They know that they'll probably not be doing what you're doing. They upset that people they get upset because people are drawn to you. Like Prime Time said, they want to beat me. They don't want to beat the team. They want to beat him. And like you said, if people are getting jealous or or whatever everything because of how they are, that's a problem with them, not a problem with Dion. It's not. And when I when I uh one thing I do like that Dion, he's waking up the younger generation. The younger generation is talking about this man. They're tuning in. Dion has inspired a nation. Look, he's inspired me. I'm a 50-year-old man. And I, I'm going to be honest. I've been wanting to work out, exercise, but I'm, I be too lazy. I get tired of it doing this. I get tired of it doing that. I get off work. I come, come home. I do not move. But because of what I'm seeing Deion Sanders do down there in Colorado, I'm inspired to say, man, I'm going to get out there to that park and I'm going to walk. I'm going to get the, the exercise I want, the tone that I want, a lot of things. I'm going to do it. So he's a, you know, he's inspiring a lot of people. And, and, that's, and a lot, some people have a problem with it. And when I look at Colorado, for y'all just changing this into a black or white thing. When I look in those fans and I hear people hollering, Prime Time, Coach Prime, Shadur, Colorado, I see blacks, whites, so many different races cheering together. That's what I see. So we need to get off of this. This is a black and white thing. Maybe somewhere down the line, is somebody don't like the fact that he's black or somebody black don't like the way that he's a, he's doing every doing the way they feel they do he's doing this for Colorado why you didn't do it Jackson State and it was some issues that he had at Jackson State that I'm not going to get into but come on people it's entertainment It's a game. It's fun. I, I mean, I get inspired every day when I go to lunch break. I'm looking at, I'm looking on YouTube, seeing with Dion. You know, I like him when I see the Little Wayne and the the masterpiece. You got real in the Rock. Rock's not a gangster rapper. He's a wrestler. Would those people be down there? You know, you want to say this about the HBCUs? Uh, he should be doing this for HBCUs. They wouldn't be at Oregon if prime time wasn't there.
You know, I'm a, I'm a person, yes, I'm a black man, but I'm a person that about people coming together. You can do so much when you're together. I'm not about separation. I'm not about jealousy. I don't never get mad. Uh, it's plenty of trail riders that are way more that made a big impact with trail riding did the little bit that I have done. Do I get mad because they, they got to shine? Do I get mad because they got more views? No. Man, I want to, first thing I want to do, I, hey, if I want to learn, hey, I want to talk to them, what can I do to do this? And then I take whatever they, they tell me, and I take it and mix it up in my own way. That's how you do it. That's, that's how you be a player. And I mean a player of life. You know, but if you want to be jealous, you want to hate prime time, that's you. But I just find it funny that people are taking shot at this man. If you look at it, Dion don't complain about no other coach. He don't complain about another team. But they're coming at him. Y'all y'all don't see that? They're coming at him because the cameras is on prime time at Colorado. And a lot of people just have a problem with that. But I'm not going to hold y'all too long. This is Big Cadillac. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be coming with more videos. Uh, uh, race, racing, you know, drag racing videos, trail riding videos, DJ videos. That's what I do. That's what I am. But prime time beyond Sanders. Keep doing what you're doing, buddy. You inspired those people down there in Colorado. You've inspired a whole nation. You even inspired me, buddy. Hey, I'm with you. Prime time. I'm out.